Elon Musk unveils Grok E, the largest SNLC billion parameter language model with full open source. Just yesterday, Elon Musk made good on his promise from last week. His XC company has officially open sourced their first large language model called Grok E. This model boasts a staggering SNLC billion parameters, making it the largest open source language model ever released. This massive language model includes the complete model weights and the network architecture. All Open sourced and available for free. This means that Grok E has surpassed even the largest previous open source models, like Anthropic's 70 billion parameter MAMU model. In fact, the popular open source Sharbi parameter GPT model from OpenAI pales in comparison with its mere 120 billion parameters. The scale of this new open source giant is truly unprecedented. And the best part is that Grok E is completely free to use. You can leverage it for all kinds. Kinds of applications, whether that's fine-tuning it for your own needs or using it directly in commercial products, there are no licensing restrictions whatsoever. If you want to get your hands on this cutting-edge AI model, simply head to the link I've provided in the video description. There you'll find a magnet link to download the full Grok Emi model using a torrent client. Once it's downloaded, you'll have access to the world's largest open-source language model. With so many people joining in from all over the world. The traction has been incredible. The GitHub repo already has over 1 stars and it's still rapidly climbing. According to the information released by Zai, the Grok E base model was trained on a massive corpus of text data without any fine-tuning for specific tasks. This Sanyaozi billion parameter model, along with an expert variant, has 25 of their weights active on a given input token sequence. The training process for this this model started back in October 2023 using Zai's custom training stack. Importantly, Grok E is released under the Apache R.0 open source license, meaning users are completely free to use, modify, and distribute the software as they see fit. This is very much in line with Musk's past behavior, like when he open sourced the designs for Tesla's electric vehicles. He has no qualms about others copying his work. In fact, just last week when Musk announced the Grok E open source. He couldn't resist taking a jab at OpenAI. He asked us all to tell him more about the open part of OpenAI, implying that they're anything but transparent with their models. The clear subtext is that OpenAI, despite its name, has no intention of actually open sourcing its creations. Musk even have jokingly suggested that OpenAI should just change its name to Closed AI, since they seem to have no interest in the open source principles they claim to embrace, and it seems Musk's criticism may be warranted. Just yesterday, I saw news that researchers from the University of Southern California have managed to reverse engineer OpenAI's latest GPT-4.5 model through a clever attack called Softmax probing. They were able to extract enough output samples to determine that the GPT-4.5 model likely only has around 70 billion parameters, not the hundreds of billions or even trillions that had been rumored. The researchers were able to leverage the inherent limitations of the softmax activation used in modern language models. Since the output space is constrained by the dimensionality of the feature vectors, they could work backward from the API outputs to infer the true scale of the GPT-4.5 model. This stands in stark contrast to the much higher parameter counts that OpenAI has been touting. It seems OpenAI has been in intentionally obscuring the real size of its models, likely for competitive reasons. But this ASK team has called their bluff, exposing how the emperor may not be wearing as many clothes as we thought. Even a few months ago, the Wuyi paper had already estimated the GPT-4.5 model to be around 20 billion parameters, a far cry from the 200 billion or even 1.75 trillion that had been rumored. This raises all sorts of questions. Were the initial 200 billion parameters claims simply mistakes, or has OpenAI been actively compressing their models?
models after the fact. Why the secrecy around the true training scale of these large language models? Regardless of the specifics, it's clear that OpenAI possesses formidable optimization capabilities when it comes to these massive models. And the ASK team has shown how even a modest amount of probing can start to unravel the true nature of these black boxes. Their softmax probing attack doesn't completely steal the model parameters, so the damage is limited. But it does provide a pathway for building trust. Model providers will now face pressure to be more transparent about the real scale and capabilities of their creations. So far, OpenAI hasn't responded to this revelation, but it will be interesting to see if they eventually disclose the actual parameter counts of their large language models. This may be part of the reason Musk is pushing for more open source to counter the opacity that seems to pervade the field of AI. As a staunch supporter of open source, Musk is wading right into the fray with the release of Grok E. He's putting his money where his mouth is, so to speak, by giving the world unprecedented access to a state-of-the-art language model. In fact, even Mark Zuckerberg has chimed in with his thoughts on Grok E. He acknowledged that the San Yaosu billion parameter model is simply massive, requiring a ton of expensive HE by GPUs to run. Zuckerberg said he's already purchased some of these GPUs, though he didn't seem overly impressed by the model's sheer scale. And he's right to point out the hardware challenges. Running Grok E is no trivial feat. The official instructions warn that you'll need access to plenty of GPU memory and computing power. Specifically, they recommend a minimum of Ba NVIDIA HE by GPUs to even get the model up and running. Now, those HE by GPUs aren't exactly cheap. Each one costs around 44,000 Mei Yuan, US dollars, or over 31 Chinese Yuan. So to set up a machine capable of running Grok E, you'd be looking at an investment of well over 24,000 Mei Yuan in hardware alone. That's not exactly pocket change. So in that sense, Musk's open sourcing of Grok E is a bit of a double-edged sword. On one hand, it's the largest open source language model ever released, putting cutting-edge AI capabilities into the hands of the masses. But on the other hand, the astronomical hardware requirements mean it's really only accessible to well-funded enterprises and research labs. For individual hobbyists or small businesses, the barrier to entry is simply too high. We mere mortals just can't afford the kind of GPU firepower needed to run this model. It's the AI equivalent of a Ferrari. Amazing engineering, but completely out of reach for the average person. So if you were one of those people excitedly downloading the Grok E Mi Odo, I hate to break it to you, but you might want to just delete it. All you're doing is wasting precious hard drive space, since you've got no chance of actually running it, unless you happen to have a small data center's worth of GPUs lying around. Of course, if you do have the resources, whether that's your own hardware or access to cloud GPU rentals, then by all means, dive into Grok E. There are ways to get your hands on the necessary GPU power, like renting it by the R from cloud providers. I took a look, and it seems the only real option for that right now is the service CLLEDVOLTR.com. They have GPU rental plans that could work for experimenting with Grok E. The pricing isn't too bad either. Around 5 Mei Yuan per hour for an NVIDIA AE by GPU, which has 40 gigabytes of memory. That might be enough to at least play around with this colossal language model. Overall, while the open sourcing of Grok E is a landmark moment, its immense scale does put serious limitations on who can actually utilize it. It's the domain of the tech elite, the AI researchers with deep pockets. For the rest of us, it's likely to remain more of a curious novelty than a practical tool. But the significance of this release shouldn't be overlooked. Musk has put his money where his mouth is, diving headfirst into the open source AI fray. His actions have exposed some of the opacity that seems to pervade the field, with OpenAI's apparent attempts to obscure the true nature of their large language models. So while the average person may not be able to run Grok E themselves, its existence still represents an important milestone. It's a testament to the potential of open collaboration and a direct challenge to the closed-off black box approach favored by some of the industry's biggest players. The battle lines have been drawn, and Musk has chosen his side as an avid supporter.
supporter of open source. He's fired a shot across the bow of the AI establishment. It will be fascinating to see how the rest of the field responds and whether this opens the door to a new era of transparency and cooperation in artificial intelligence. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, share, and smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence.